Actually, you don't need shower time. You need only free time. And yard time. You can do free time in there as well. And free time in there. They don't really have anything to do at the moment in the prison, so they can just uh, eat, sleep, and have free time. And do whatever they want. Um, at least in the previous alphas, uh, you really didn't need yard or shower time at all. Because uh, free time gives them freedom to do whatever they want. And they need to shower every now and then, and they need a yard time to have some fun times in the yard, lifting weights, calling their families and all that. And if you have a just free time in here, uh, it means that the prisoners who actually need to go to yard or shower or whatever they need to do, they will do th th those things and the other ones will do whatever they want to do. Or just uh, hang around doing nothing. And uh, I think that's much better than just forcing your whole population into a single shower and have them kill each other there when only a couple people need to actually shower and the other ones just stare at them there you need a guard to open it so it's oh that's good to know <laughs> well we are, we are screwed then well we, we can actually just uh, lock these open for now doesn't really matter I'll just uh, keep them open and they are there and um, I'll have probably another entrance thing here. Just make them super safe. <laughs> I can see you shower. <laughs> yes, I'll fix. So if someone actually gets through here and starts running towards this, I can just uh, click on the fence here and lock it closed. Uh, I hope so. Yeah, there we go. So if I see someone running, I can actually close this myself and uh, otherwise I'll just keep it open for the cars hey guys the door is open <laughs> yes it is but uh, there is still this jail door here I kinda feel that this is maybe a bit, bit too mo uh, too powerful actually because now it totally prevents uh, your prisoners from escaping when you have a fence around uh, this side of the road and uh, those uh, uh, gates here. It makes uh, escaping your prison pretty much impossible. Especially if you are keeping the tunnels in check and uh, don't have them tunneling away. Or through the fences. Unlock, uh, we actually have the chief of guards now, so this is the chief's office now. And uh, now that we have this guy hired, we can actually see this uh, danger level here, which uh, shows the, well, the current danger level in your prison. And we, ha we have low, but it is increasing. And uh, four prisoners have serious complaints. Uh, what are they whining? I need clothing and someone needs sleep. Someone wants freedom and someone wants to go to sleep. <laughs> so, having some complaints uh, makes this go higher, and when it's up the way here, some people are gonna die in one way or another. They're gonna kill someone or have a riot or something happen. It's also that because I don't have any guards in there, they're complaining a bit too much. Having uh, guards nearby uh, suppresses your prisoners so they don't start anything too crazy. Hire an accountant. Um, here's the feed prisoners. 75% is just fine because all of them are not always eating. They only eat when they are hungry. So these guys are doing just fine cooking meals to these guys. Um, the need for clothing is kinda annoying. I need to get rid of that one quickly. And the only way to do it is... Hmm. Is uh, have a laundry room. Guards make them happy. <laughs> yes. Well, it, it uh, increases their safety. Uh, there is this uh, need here, which I cannot see yet, but there is a... Uh, you can see, wha see what the... The overall mood of your prison is kind of, do they need safety, do they need food, 
or wh whatever they need and you can kind of see what do you need to change or fix in your prison with that so let's have this adding this uh, fence was kind of not the best idea at the moment because it takes forever for the, these guys to actually build this whole fence oh staff members are exhausted oh, I didn't re actually remember about this one as well this was also added in the <laughs> recent alpha so your guards get uh, tired so we need a staff room somewhere down here I think if these guys are having offices down here maybe we will have a staff room in this area and let's uh, build that one immediately so it 13 by 13 that's a nice staff building I may actually fence this uh, this area off totally from the prisoners uh, you need to go to their website uh, half dance can you should get the uh, information how to do it if you buy the name in the game package but basically you go to their uh, web page and there is a you need to sign up to the forums and then use your uh, forum account to go to this page where you have your uh, prison architect key and you add it there and then you add your own prisoner information and get it to the game I actually didn't do it uh, through Steam myself because uh, I got the package uh, gifted to me so I did uh, off, s off t Steam so I'm not exactly sure how the Steam version works I just got an email myself uh, with the instructions how to do it how expensive would it <laughs> I don't know Th there is some uh, different packages on their website so if you don't want to use the Steam one you can just go through their own website as well yeah let's actually do this um, I'm gonna add a bit of fence there and uh, it means they cannot go through here and they cannot go around here because there's the lake and then I'll have a fence in here and a door large jail door there which makes this whole area around well this whole bottom part here is uh, now separated from the top part and this will be staff only area all all down here so I, I don't need to be careful about what is happening down here when it's totally blocked off and so this is gonna be the staff room staff room there <laughs> look for the coffee cup <laughs> there we go so this is the staff room now and uh, you need a well it is minimum size sofa chairs and a drinks ma machine so let's have a let's have a couple nice sofas there we'll add uh, some more in the future but I'm, I don't wanna spend too much money at the moment and a uh, couple drinks machines there actually place them the wrong way so there we go so that, that's my staff room I'll be back in a second Uh, no, not that one. <laughs> and we're back. No. Enabled the wrong one. My nose was itching like hell, so I need to do something about that. So, now that we have the staff room ready, al almost ready when the drinks machine is there, we can focus on the next things to do. We actually unlocked a uh, maintenance guy now. Oops, not that one. 
Uh, we have a foreman now, so we can hire him in there. Oh, oops. Did I just hire two foremen? Oh, I actually hired... I actually hired... Uh, <laughs> multiple foremen. I didn't know you actually could do that. Interesting. Hmm. I have I had a three out of one. Which is kind of strange bug. Because you, you should only have one of them. I hope I didn't break anything else. So we have a... Maintenance. So we need a deployment. And we need a prison policy. And uh, we need a prison labor from there. And we also need a those. That's a lot of money. That's... 5,000 and 7,000. Ugh. Just those. And uh, there goes all my money. Holy crap. We are, we are screwed. I may have to grab one of those extra grants just to survive. Electricity down there. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of screwed with my money, to be honest. I need a, uh, I need more prisoners and I need a uh, more income, really quickly, like immediately. Like so I cannot uh, actually do prison labor before I have all of these. Oh uh, well, the prison policy, prison labor and uh, deployment. Actually, no, I need a uh, labor and deployment. <laughs> The other ones are just extra. Um, this is the deployment window. I cannot do anything with that yet. Actually, I can uh, make these staff only. No access. <laughs> Interesting. So this uh, down area here, this should be also staff only. So these areas are now only for the staff. Actually, the kitchen should be staff only. So the prisoners will not go in this area ever. Send your prisoners to rob bank. <laughs> Sounds good, half can Just get all the financial criminals and just have them make millions and millions of money for me from the prison. Just need to build a computer room somewhere. So these uh, black areas are now uh, uh, staff only. So only the prisoners, uh, only, only the staff members can go in there. And the prisoners will never go in into these areas here unless they are writing or doing something strange <laughs> why is that uh, Oswix? I know it's it's pretty expensive the face in the game package I actually should have uh, extra copies of the prison architect, actually. I don't think I have given it away at all. Hmm. Because I have the full package that comes with the face in the game thing. And uh, I already had a prison architect myself. So I should have a actually an additional copy of a prison architect there to give away. Twitch chat is failing today. Uh, <laughs> today as well as the, every other day since January. Is Wes not streaming today? Um, he should be. Didn't he tweet out that he's already streaming? I thought he he was playing something. Strange. Maybe he has a emergency with the uh, things again. I haven't yet bought the game. <gasps> Me once. <laughs> he just finished. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, he was playing the new uh, Walking Dead. 
8 race going for a nap. Okay, good to know. Retirement fund f for the warden. Just like tropical. Actually, you, you can sell your prison, uh, Quack. Actually, uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me show you. I can get the account that now. Exceeds daily budget. Mm. In 8 hours, I can show you. Let's, uh, roll the time a bit more. His wife is overpowered today. <laughs> Aren't wives uh, always overpowered? Wait! I got max security, prisoner of grand, and uh, seven normal ones. But I actually got uh, seven normal risk prisoners, and I just changed myself into a high risk one to actually see that I am a high risk one. So I could actually just get low risk prisoners and change them into the high risk ones. It doesn't do anything else than change their shirt color, but it would keep their thoughts and uh, personality as the low risk one. But I would get uh, three times the money. Mm. I sense abuse. So when I get uh, these prisoners, it gives me more daily allowance. Which uh, allows me to actually hire these guys. Enslave the prisoners to earn more money. <gasps> well, you can have them work in the workshops, so it's kind of forced labor. So <laughs> it it is kind of there al already. So I don't need a. Uh, this one, and I'm done with that, so just wait for a few more hours. It's not a bug, it's a feature. <laughs> hey, mining miner. Always abuse the bugs in alpha. <gasps> yes. Well, I, I don't really want to abuse it too much, but that is actually a pretty easy way to earn more money than you are supposed to, with no risk at all. We got... what did we unlock? Cleaning. Okay, we, we'll hire uh, some janitors. Well, we can probably hire just one. Actually, we can hire more. Uh, let's get two. Oops, three, I guess. So these guys go go around cleaning the prison. Because, well, I cannot show you yet. Um, because these guys actually don't like having dirty places. Did we unlock anything else here? Deployment is now unlocked. Okay, so you can go into the deployment and have guards here. So I can assign guards in these areas now. There we go. So there is now one guard always in each of these regions. Like this guy will just stand here and open the door when needed. There will be one guy hanging around in the kitchen and uh, some people in here. Did I actually assign two in there? Oh, wait. Um... Oh. Works kinda strange. Oh well, I actually need a couple more guards. Because these guys are getting tired. Why are you stationed there? I think my stationing is bugged. Yeah, that, that is... Buggy room. Well... One of them can just run around and do whatever he wants. Let's see. So the prison labor is coming soon. Uh, actually, the crown is... Why did I do this this way? I should have done the prison labor first. And prison police is coming. So we can actually do the laundry room next. Which is really, really important. Because your prisoners are gonna riot if you don't get clean clothing for them, and uh, I'll have, have it here. What? Oh, let's pull those. So, let's put it here. It's gonna be, yeah, right there. This is my laundry building. And we'll have a jail door. In there. <laughs> 
12 cents an hour. I uh, slavery. <laughs> yeah, Kelemorn. In this prison, they are not getting anything at all. To do some work for me. I like that you now actually have to cut down these trees and you can just uh, move them like normal objects. <laughs> I don't know, Asphyx. I have to actually check here if I have to copy. Or not. <laughs> oh, nice. Kelemorn. So it's non not 12 cents per an hour, it's 23 cents per an hour. Whoa. Doing eight eight hours of works gets you almost almost some money. You get almost two dollars per day for doing that. <laughs> Which is like nothing at all. It's a bit different in Finnish prisons than that. You actually get quite a lot of money being the prison here. Common room, uh l cleaning cupboard, no. Oh, I can actually do the laundry room, yes. I need prison labor. Ugh. You get your social security things in prison in Finland, so you get something like 700 euros or something, I guess, per month, just by being in the prison. Which is actually more more than what uh, students get per month, which is kind of funny. If you kill someone, you get more money per month from the government than actually trying to do your studies and finish your degree. Not a bitter student at all, no. Also, you get more money if you are unemployed than you get when you are a student, which is also great. Hey, Shinobi, how's it going? And that's my laundry room done, I think. No, it's the gardener. Let's get a gardener then. Exceed daily budget. Nah, not yet. Yeah, definitely kill more. They should get the minimum wage if you are. Having to make some work, make some work, I guess. Actually, here, if you do work from the prison, I think you do get salary out of that. But we are a strange socialist country in Europe, so we do things differently. <laughs> And here's my next group of prisoners. What a happy looking bunch. Mm, it actually means my my prison is full at the moment, so I can get more prisoners. And it also means we can actually get the accountant now, so there we go. We have a, an accountant now. And it actually shows us the valuation now. So here's my prison value. So buildings all the things I've built, some stuff in the storage, staff members <laughs> are also valued, and uh, how much cash I have, and my prisoner capacity, which is zero at the moment, so the cells. And uh, here's the safety and security, so there has not been murders or anything, or riots, so you get uh, some extra value, and I could actually just sell my prison immediately now, so I, I would get 70,000 to start my next prison. The normal starting grant is only 30,000, so if I just sold this small thing I made, I would get a, over double the normal starting money. And if I just keep playing, it's just gonna go higher and higher. Unless there's a ton of serious injuries, murders and escapes, then it's gonna go, go to zero and... then it's not fun. But yeah, you can, you can actually sell your prison and start a new one with the 
money you earned from the previous playthrough. What did students get per month? <laughs> Chased by dogs. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it pretty much, Kelleborn. Uh, students get about... Well, it depends. It's about 500 euros per month. Plus uh, student loans. But I, I wouldn't count those as getting money. Because it's a loan, which you have to pay. Oh, yeah, this should be open. It should be able to auto-upgrade the prisoner's low med max when they repeat it. Yeah, it should, uh, quack. So much to add to alphas. <laughs> Definitely. There is so much things you could do with this game, still. And uh, they are doing a lot. But it's it's fully playable and really nice game already. They are cooking a lot of stuff in there. Some cabbage soup and bacon today, it seems. Isn't that enough for you? Uh, no, not really. If my apartment rent is 60 euros more than the monthly payment <laughs> I get from the government. Although I do, I do live with my wife, who also is a student, so we get kind of get the money, uh, double the um, amount. So we can be actually pay the pay the rent and all the all the other bills we have, and then we have maybe couple couple of euros for food as well. Maybe you have to remember, Spice, that uh, Finland is really fucking expensive in everything. Food is super expensive, rent is expensive, bills are super expensive, Every, everything costs a ton. So thousand euros is like nothing at all. Let's see, so what do we need next? This is actually my daily ca cash flow now. So I'm getting 500 money each day after I pay the bills and uh, food for the prisoners. <laughs> and <it's ahead> stuff. <laughs> nice quack. Education is, yeah, it, it is. It is. Spitz. Education is good. Healthcare is good. Social sh security is good. So I, I guess we do get something out of really high taxes and everything. I mean, the education and healthcare and everything is totally free as well, so. Yeah, if I do have a copy, I'll probably give it away, Oswix. I know. I mean, I don't really need another copy myself. Uh, let's see. What do we need next? No, oh, uh, we can do the room now. Uh, what is it? So this is going to be the laundry room, and we'll need some laundry machines here, and we need uh, some ironing boards. That should be enough. And we need a laundry basket. Oops. Well. There we go. How expensive is food exactly? Piece of bread. Uh I don't know. I don't I don't buy bread. <laughs> About huh, I don't know. Do my yeah, yeah, also depends what, what kind of bread it is. <laughs> but it is a uh, pretty expensive night business. It's kinda difficult to exactly say. Unless you have some better things to compare, because bread is kinda difficult. <laughs> My wife is selling uh, milk. Need a da table in the laundry. Do you? Ah, uh, no, you don't. You need uh, ironing boards and uh, laundry machines. I don't think you need a table. It isn't mentioned in the tooltip. Really? Did they change that, uh, Quack? Because uh, I've never made table.